In this video, I'm going to solve for the change in enthalpy of the reaction of pure carbon plus water vapor produces hydrogen gas and carbon monoxide. I always solve these systematically where I look for the first reactant in the equations below and then I'll move on to the second reactant and then work my way through all of the products. So pure carbon can be found in the third equation and it is on the reactant side that I want so I'm going to copy the third equation exactly as written. So pure carbon plus oxygen gas produces carbon dioxide gas. And then instead of writing delta H equals for each equation, I'm going to summarize it in a column. And this is going to help me add up all the changes in enthalpies at the very end. So I haven't done anything to this equation, so I'm, the change in enthalpy is exactly the same. And that gets us our pure carbon. Next, I'm going to move on to our water vapor. We can find water vapor in the third equation, but it is on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to flip equation number two. So I'm going to start with water vapor as my reactant. This flipped equation is going to produce hydrogen gas and half a unit of oxygen gas. Now I prefer to write the half as 0.5 in decimal form. I find students are better at mental math using uh, decimals. So the enthalpy change has to go from negative to positive 200 in 41 kilojoules. That takes care of the water vapor that I wanted and it also took care of the hydrogen gas. It gave me one unit of hydrogen on the product side when I flipped it. Last, I just need to find an equation that's going to produce carbon monoxide. I find carbon monoxide in the first equation and only the first equation, so I have to use that one and I need to flip it because I need carbon monoxide to be a product. So flipping equation number one, I'm going to get carbon monoxide produced, half a unit of oxygen gas produced, and my reactant is going to be carbon dioxide gas. I did flip this first equation, so the change in enthalpy is going to be positive 238 kilojoules. So now I've used all my equations, I've got all the pieces, and hopefully everything that I don't want will cancel out. So I'm going to net everything up. So I can cancel anything that's on both sides, but it has to be the same chemical, the same state, and the same quantity. So my solid carbon is not cancelled out. I have oxygen gas on the reactant side and it's one unit. And on the product side, in total, I have one unit. I have half oxygen gas, half oxygen gas, so that's one oxygen gas and that cancels one oxygen gas. Uh, I also have water vapor as a reactant that doesn't cancel out. My carbon dioxide will cancel. I have one CO2 gas, one CO2, one CO2 gas, I almost canceled the wrong one. Okay. That blue carbon monoxide does stay. It's not canceled. And last, I have my hydrogen gas. So I've built the equation I want. So I can get the change in enthalpy of this equation by summing up all of these changes in enthalpy. So enter them in your calculator, hit plus between each of those terms. When you do that, you get positive 86 kilojoules as your change in enthalpy. And that is the answer for this question.